When I talk about raising vibrational frequency, it's done through love. Also, when you talk about following Christ, it's a metaphor for Christ consciousness. The Bible is allegories of the human body, Solomon's temple, and inside was the Holy Trinity, your pineal gland, the soul of man's temple, Moses parting the Red Sea. He split the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere of his mind so he could walk the path that God intended for him. You are the Holy Grail. Your head is the chalice and your neck is the handle. Your endocrine system, serotonin, melatonin, dopamine, falls to the sacrum and then it rises, the three wise men bringing gifts to Christ, giving you the gift of enlightenment, connecting you with the Christ within or the kundalini rising. It's the same thing. If you're following any forms of religion and you're externalizing your prayers to some big man in the sky, you're externalizing your power. This also allows you to send the blame to someone else exalting accountability for your mistakes. And it's also making you weak-minded. When you start to understand the syncretisms between religions, it's not that you are God. You're an extension of God. You're an extension of God's expression. And you can't raise your vibration and then go do things that vex your higher consciousness and think that your vibration is still rising. Raising your vibrational frequency can only happen through love. This is scientifically proven when you're in a state of fear, your DNA shuts down. Experiencing anxiety, depression, grief, these are all low frequencies that shut down your DNA. Why do you think the television leads with fear? It's for control. Your beliefs are being hijacked so they can dictate your actions. Law of awareness, no action will ever come from a non-belief. Who's giving your beliefs? Who's giving you your concepts? That's why having a loving relationship with Christ, it definitely helps. But that loving connection you're supposed to seek within yourself. Having communion with yourself, becoming your highest self, and vibrating that to your surroundings. Listen, the way religion is being represented in today's society is meant to cause division. More importantly, the system makes you very rational, so you interpret all these allegories as actual stories. Then you externalize your power and fight amongst each other, arguing about who's right, when the truth is you're all right. But you have to look at religion metaphorically. And if you're able to do that, then you'll realize they're all pretty much saying the same thing. All the while, the powers that created this system are laughing at you, fighting amongst each other, completely misunderstanding your religion while they reap the benefits in this fictitious hierarchy that they created. We won't start seeing better days until unity. You need to master yourself so that others may not bend you, so that the matrix does not bend you. Stop externalizing your power and turn inward. It's that simple.